going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, got a video game. If you guys haven't seen this before, um, it's, not, it's been around for a while, this VRC Pro. What I've been using, uh, actually my buddy Brian is the one that pointed me to this website because there's a little adapter that you can buy. Uh, it's the, I'll put a link in the description. Anyhow, I don't sell them or anything like that, but it is kind of related to Team Associated in some form. What it is, or at least uh, it was packaged with the Team Associated stuff. And also, if you buy Team Associated RC cars, sometimes they'll give you a code so you can download their short horse truck. But anyway, the uh, part number for it, like I said, it's a little USB adapter. And this thing works on Windows XP, on Vista, on 7. I'm running on Windows 10. But it's a VRC-3NT USB. Anyway, uh, you just grab yourself a receiver. If you can bring your car over, your RC car, and there's going to be two little wires that are on the adapter. I'll go ahead and show you a picture of it. Anyhow, how I have it hooked up, I'm just using like a Team Red Cat radio. So you'll use your own radio to drive your car, your virtual car, online. So it's kind of cool. And there's nothing, you don't have to pay for anything, even though you're seeing stuff here where it says like three months subscription, what have you. You don't have to do any of that, but then you have access to more cars and I think, I believe tracks. I'm new at it, but what I've done so far, so let's say first time and you want to know how to do this, you can use a keyboard, but I'm going to tell you right now, the keyboard stinks as far as using it because you're trying to play with an RC car online, you really want to grab yourself the remote. That's where you want to go ahead and grab that adapter. So let's go ahead and show you what you'll need to do first. So I'll put links in the description below as far as where you need to go to download the software, as far as to you know set it, set your account all up. So I'm just going to show you. I'm already logged in right now, and uh, if you just go to it, you just go to downloads first of all, and it's going to have you. You can do a few different locations, and they have some alternative locations down at the bottom as far as the you know executable or zip file you have to unzip all that good fun stuff but once you've done that and you've downloaded the software next once you get that all installed because it's like a I think it's 1.5 gigs that you need to install on your computer again this is not intensive at all when it comes to what is required it even says here system requirements Windows XP service pack 3 you can use a pretty junky computer and you can get playing you know online but again, the other thing is you want to go ahead and get that little adapter. So I highly recommend you want the adapter. Even the games, like you want the adapter, trust me. I think we spent like, I think it was something like 23 bucks for the adapter. They have different prices wherever. I'll, I'll see what, I don't know if they have them on Amazon or what have you. But anyway, so once you get that downloaded, then from that point and you get it all installed, it takes maybe, it might, depending on your internet connection, you know, it's going to vary on that part of it anyhow. Once you have that all set up and done, then I'm trying to get on my screen here where I can see it. I'm going to slide this over because this is what you're going to see. You won't have to go to the website so much. You can just run this executable or the setup, not the setup file. It's just their icon. That it's the shortcut. So it'll launch the program. So it'll look for updates and what have you. And this is it. I haven't really done anything. And I want to get into the calibration of it too because at first I was like, Something's not right here. My car's going slow. I'm sure it's going to go faster than this. So let me go ahead and at least show you that so you have like an idea of how to do that maybe on your computer as well once you have the adapter. So if you go to options, again, I'm not a pro at this or anything like that. So it's new. I just kind of fumbled my way through it and it seems like I found some of the stuff. So anyway, once you're here, just go to control options and so this stuff they tell you you should calibrate every week once a week once you're done now this stuff's jumping all around like doesn't know what's going on oh I gotta turn my radio on okay so now everything's zeroed out that was the reason why so turn your radio on obviously have everything plugged in like I said there's two wires that come on that little adapter and it's not tagged to which ones that goes to channel one and which one is channel two and channel one would be your servo for your steering channel two is going to be your electronic speed controller input so one way or the other as far as when it comes to that because like i said nothing's labeled so you have to i just had to kind of like try to figure it out like okay well it's working 
Now, again, once we're to this point, when we went into the options, you want to calibrate. So you're going to actually have to click on calibrate. And once you do that, I'm going to drag this over here so you can see it. This pops up. This is on your Windows platform. So you want to, what you want to do is go to properties, right? So you go to properties. And for instance, right now, if I give full throttle, the little triangle goes all the way up. But how did I get to that point, right? So we want to go to calibrate and slide that little screen over. Once you do this, right now you can see it's that little plus whatever the axis is all bouncing all over the place. So what I need to do is once steer to the left or the right, in this case, steer to the right then to the left. So make sure that when you turn your wheel on your radio that you turn it all the way and just kind of hold it there for like a second, bring it back to zero, then go to the right, hold it there, you know, for a second or two. So everything is balanced out. Make sure that your radio that you're using is all set to zero because that's going to throw it all off too. And then you want to push down that trigger all the way down for full throttle and then go back to zero more or less off the trigger and then go into reverse. Just make sure that all those little plus, that plus, those hairs, those axis are all centered. Because if not, you can make adjustments, but more than likely make sure that your radio has just been adjusted down to zero. Just want to emphasize on making sure your radio is set to zero. Meaning like your trims and everything like that. And now once you do that, you just click next and at this point in time, I just click next. It's got some other little setting that's in here. And honestly, again, I'm new to it. So if you want to leave a comment down below, definitely let me know if you played the game. Do you like it? It's pretty cool. It's not like an Xbox, you know, 1S or, or Xbox, whatever they have, or a PlayStation 4 graphics or anything like that. But it's, it's still cool just to kind of play around with. So we'll just go ahead and apply it and OK. I'm going to hit OK. And then our calibration. So now, because at first when I was doing this, I was like, I'm only getting like 47%. And I was trying to adjust all my throttle trim and all that, which I probably probably could get turn. I don't know. Anyway, I have it at 100% just to get full throttle. And you can turn down your, basically like your dual rate and stuff like that so it doesn't turn as sharp depending on what you're doing. But anyway, you kind of get the gist of the idea of what I'm getting at here too. So let's get into the game. So just go ahead and hit OK. And here's the car that you get right now, that short course. Or I think that's the one I left it at. Anyways, so I'm just going to choose this one. You can select different cars. I guess we can go ahead and click on that. There's different ones that are here, but you have to, if I'm not mistaken, you got to pay for these things, right? So if you click on one and we hit select, it's going to be here. Low performance, some options, high performance, I think. Oh, see, purchase. And if you hit select, uh, again, not 100% sure, but we can, I'm going to cancel it for right now because, again, I haven't tested all of it, but it's just to kind of give you an idea of the game and not to get into any detail that I'm not 100% aware of to be 100 with you guys. So for right now, what I'm doing is leaving the car set up. You can do different tuning with it. You can change your electronic speed controller, your motor, different turns of the motor. So I think I had at one point like a 13. Oh, I have it up at the top here. So you'll look here and see it. 110 scale, short course, four-wheel drive. I had a 13.5 turn. Uh, they have other ones that's like 7.17.5, which is slower. So I wanted something, I tried to get something as fast as I could with this setup at this time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and practice and so you can watch how bad I am right now with it. But uh, I'm on this dirt course here. And it seems like these are all legit places too. So pretty cool on that one because they had one that was in Orlando, which is the uh, Snowbirds National which I've been to, and I'm like, wow, that looks so familiar because that looks like the inside of that hotel. Nonetheless, that was it. So pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and practice now. And there's different camera angles. I don't know if he's going to say anything here, that, but you can hit F2 so you can get different camera angles anyhow. Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. Yeah, thanks. All right. Let's get that off of there. All right, so different camera angles and I think right now I'm not sure which one I'm on so yeah I'm just it's a little bit I think to a certain extent the physics are pretty good on it 
uh, it's still, I mean, it's not like a real car, but it's not like, you know, RCs, you have that detachment anyhow, so you can't really feel it out anyhow. So it's the same. Left but, one, twenty-seven. But point yeah, it bounces zero, around. It does some weird seconds. stuff sometimes. But uh, I would say overall, it's pretty cool. I mean, I was pretty sloppy in the beginning here, but I hit on that top there. But really cool. I mean, especially if you're kind of new to the RC, something you can kind of hone your skills a little bit too, like I need to when it comes to off-roading. I'm not giving it full throttle. Left like I was two, up to. They cheer when seconds. you get better lap times as well. So I did an on-road course, and that, I mean, obviously, I do better on the on-road than I do on the off-road. I'm just not used to hitting the jumps correctly. It, well, that was pretty good there. Good job, Joe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some of them, like just now, and plus the way, if, if you saw the way I was holding the radio, then you make a little bit more sense as to why it's Left driving three, like I'm driving. But anyway, seconds. you get the idea of it. I think it's a pretty cool game. I mean, for nothing other than the fact that if you want to get that little adapter, then it's pretty cool. And if you need to reset, you just hit the space bar, and then it's boom, boom, you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead. And I just want to kind of show you guys this, too. I thought it was, like I said, I think it's pretty cool. But I'm going to, let's see, hit escape because we want to get out of that one. Let me see if I can show you guys. I just don't want this to be a long recording. But I do want to show you the setup on here. Where are we at with, oh, 11 minutes already. And it's going to be a little bit longer video. Maybe, you know. Find it interesting, so that way you kind of stick with it, uh, you know, watching this video. But anyway, um, let's see. Let's see if there's any other. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I was going to pick something else, but I think really at this point in time, you get the idea. It is cool. And if you want to see more of it, I'd like to do something. I'll get another adapter here. Maybe we can kind of compete online. You can use Steam as well. So like I said, for the pro version of it, you can jump on and then you can get with, you know, you can get online with other people, which would be cool. Start like a little community where we say, hey, you know, it's going to be the OMG RC fan or what have you. It would be kind of cool, like every so often, kind of do a race online. So anyway, let me leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the game. Again, I didn't show you much of it, but there's a lot of tuning that can be done to it, just like the real deal. And it definitely is recommended by what they say they're, you know, by racers, you know, top racers. I think it's cool. And it just takes a little bit of getting used to it because, you know, I'm not used to those off-road tracks. But again, you can do different camera angles too. So that way you're kind of in the actual podium or what have you at the stand and driving it that way too. So Because like as far as my sight, some of it's a little bit off even when I'm driving a real RC car doing the off-roading that my depth perception isn't the best. So it's a little bit hard to uh, get that going. But anyway, that's it. I want to conclude this, but I, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of it. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. And uh, take a look at this VRC Pro. It's pretty cool. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys if you want to at least know what the adapter is that I was using. And like I said, I have the picture. So I'll just do a little snapshot of the pictures uh, where I was talking about it. And then I'll probably just throw them in at the end of this video as well. So anyway, until next time, you guys take care, and then thank you again for watching. See you.